This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in, asking, my model vanishes while using Live Boolean. Why is this happening? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the computer case fan here loaded in from Spotlight. And the question is asking about using the Live Boolean preview, and when you're activating Live Boolean, your model disappears. So as an example, here we have the Live Boolean active on the computer case fan. And if I turn off Live Boolean, you can see my mesh now looks like this. And this is just displaying all these subtools here without that Live Boolean preview. And now since I have this file set up with start groups and these subtools are set to different Boolean operations, when I activate Live Boolean, I should get a preview of those operations in real time. So now let's say I turn Live Boolean off, and then I save my file, I'm doing some other stuff inside of ZBrush, and then I come back and I turn Live Boolean on, and suddenly the model is vanishing. Now I can turn my polyframes on, and I'll see the model is there, and I can go and cycle through the different subtools here with polyframe on. I can also activate solo, and I see the mesh, but I'm not seeing any result if I don't have polyframes or solo or even transparency turned on. So why is this happening? You may run into this if you use image plane and you have changed the model opacity slider. So if we go to the texture palette here and open this up and then come down here to image plane, in this reference views area here, there is a model opacity slider. Now the model opacity slider, when used with image plane without live Boolean active, allows you to view your mesh in a slightly opaque form so you can see a reference image behind it. However, since the Live Boolean Preview is a BPR rendering process, the model opacity slider here will generate your model invisible if it's set to anything but 100. So if I come down to the slider and now I change this to 100, you'll see that my model has now reappeared. So if you have been using Image Plane to load a reference image into ZBrush, and then you go and activate Live Boolean and your model suddenly vanishes. It's related to the fact that this model opacity slider down here is not set to 100. This slider here is set to any other value than 100, then your model will vanish when using the Live Boolean system. Now you may ask, well, I use Image Plane a lot for my reference images. And so is there any other way I can use Live Boolean with reference images so I can model with Live Boolean and then also have a reference image behind my mesh? So there are a few ways you can do this without using Image Plane. So one method is to use the floor grids. So if I just have the floor option active here, I can go to the draw menu over here. And I can scroll down to the bottom here and go to this front back area. And in here I can load the maps I want to use as reference. So I'm gonna click this map one here, and I just have a blueprint from a G.I. Joe Rattler here. And I just click this, and you'll see that this will now populate on a floor grid behind my model. So now I can rotate to a different view, turn off perspective, and I can zoom in and out here. I can use the Gizmo 3D to move this around. And you can see the live Boolean option here is still active while I do this. So there is one option there. If you want to use reference images with the live Boolean, you can just go to the draw menu over here and load your images into the grid planes. And then as long as you have your grids active, they'll be visible and then you can model with that image behind it. Now another process you can do that's a little bit closer to what the image plane mode would give you is you can use this see-through option at the top here. So you can take an image and put this behind ZBrush. And then when you activate see-through, ZBrush will see through to that image. So you can see here by adjusting this, I can now see my Boolean object and I can see that reference image behind it. So I can just open up a reference image on my screen and then launch ZBrush and then just change the see through slider here. And this will allow me to see through ZBrush to that reference image. And so now I can position my models like so and model accordingly around that. So if you are using Image Plane and you notice that your Boolean operations are vanishing, it is related to the Image Plane model opacity slider. Just make sure this is set to 100 and then your model should reappear on your screen. And for other ways to use reference images, you can try using the floor grid option or also the see-through option here with the live Boolean preview. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag Ask ZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.